Hello and welcome to Green Healing, where we discuss alternative and natural healing from abuse and CPTSD. Today I want to discuss the Grey Rock Method, also known as the Grey Rock Technique. The Grey Rock Method is a way of dealing with narcissists or psychopaths or anyone who's a toxic person to get them disinterested in engaging with you. So to get them to not want to engage with you at all. Obviously, the best way to deal with a narcissist is to not engage at all. If you must engage, keep emotions out, don't react, be boring, be detached like when speaking to a stranger, and if you need to, walk away. I want to share a dream that my brother had where in the dream everyone had the face that the gray rock technique advises us to have, like a neutral, emotionless face. But in his dream, every time he walked into a room, everyone turned to him and said, chat. And so it's kind of funny, but it, we call it the chap dream, but it's to explain that the chap face is the face that if I'm engaging with a narcissist, I need to have the chap face. Chap. If you're listen, listening to the audio version of this, I highly recommend going on YouTube to check out the video version to see the chap face, because <laughs> but it's a very neutral, half open eyes, not frowning, but just unimpressed, just completely bored and unimpressed, shoulders kind of slumped, like whatever, you know? That leads me to the other thing of my own that I want to insert that's helping me with, with my version of the gray rock. I don't know if some of you have heard of the game Love Letter. In this game, there's a card called the Priestess card. And her special ability is that when you play that card until your next turn, all effects that may target you have no effects on you. Ignore all effects that target you. And so when we play it as a family, when we play the game and any one of us plays the priestess card, we go, we do the chap face and we say no effect. And her face is not quite the chap face, but she's not bothered. She's not affected. She's neutral. Her eyes are half closed and nothing is affecting her. And so no effects. And so that's the attitude to have with the narcissist to the goal is so that the narcissist or the toxic person has no effects on us. They will try to get us to react. They will try. They know, especially if they know us, they know our strengths and weaknesses. They know how to attack us emotionally and psychologically. And we just have to no effects. This person has no effect on me whatsoever. So the goal is to be a chap priestess. <laughs> I guess, for the Grey Rock method, if, if you get my meaning. Grey Rock was invented by someone named Skylar in 2012, S-K-Y-L-A-R. And this person describes it as, and I quote, primarily a way of encouraging a narcissist, psychopath, stalker, or other emotionally unbalanced person to lose interest in you close quotations. You know the saying, don't feed the troll? Don't feed the toxic person their supply. They will starve and move on to find a more viable source of food. As long as you give them food, they will take food from you. If you stop, they will move on and leave you alone. There are some basic rules with the gray rock technique. Never tell the narcissist you're using gray rock. They'll use it against you if they know. They might suspect, but never confirm and never outright tell them that you're using gray rock. Don't ask the narcissist questions and don't offer long or committal responses. Don't discuss drama and end conversations quickly 
with downward inflections to indicate you're done with them. Okay, okay, yeah, that's fine. You know, we're done here. We're through. This conversation has ended. Be distracted. Have your attention elsewhere and not fully on the narcissist. So usually in an engaging conversation, you're looking in the other person's eye and just kind of like, uh, yeah, you know, or fidget with something or look past them or listen to someone else's conversation if it helps and then be distracted by that and let them know that you're distracted. Don't let the narcissist inside your head. Keep emotions out so no effects. Don't justify yourself. Some of us, like me, tend to fall a lot into justification. Don't defend yourself so even as difficult as it might be, just you have your reasons, you don't have to explain those reasons. This is it, that's it, that's all. Like, like being militant. And when they justify themselves and defend themselves, don't tolerate it. Don't let them. You don't want to hear about it. So, mm, militant. Skylar explains that if you experience disassociation while doing gray rock, to disengage and to walk away. This is said to be a level at which gray rock has become unsafe for you psychologically and emotionally. And obviously, if the narcissist becomes physically aggressive, leave or get help. These are basically the warnings, the, the way to use it, and the warnings if you're disassociating to stop using it or if the narcissist is getting a little too much in your face, too aggressive to walk away or to go get help. We don't want to put ourselves in physical harm and emotional or psychological danger either. And obviously my spin is the no effects check. You know, so let me know if this has helped you like this video. If it has share it with anyone you think it could help. And as always empower yourself and be emotionally free.